Hey everybody, what's up? In today's video, we're going to be going over an application for iOS which acts as a smart alarm clock. What this application will do is it will basically track our sleep cycles and the movement in our sleep and wake us up at a desired time where we won't be so grumpy when we wake up. So the application is called Sleep Cycle Alarm Clock. You can buy it for 99 cents in the iTunes App Store by the link right up here, which I'll also link in the video's description. What this application does is it basically reads your body movement by using the accelerometer that's built into the iPhone and iPod Touch, and it uses that to read the body movement while you're sleeping to decide which phase of sleep that you're currently in. So if you don't know, I've been taking a psychology class lately in my school, and we just got started talking about different sleep cycles and different sleep behavior. And there's various stages of sleep, you know, normal dreaming, stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, stage four being really, really deep sleep. And so what this application will do is it'll use the accelerometer in your phone to measure the movement that you're doing around on your bed and it will decide which phase of sleep that you're in. And this will also track it with the little graph that's on it and it'll track your phases of sleep throughout the night, but it will use the state of sleep to wake you up within half an hour of every different sleep cycle and will use that to wake you up during the most best sleep cycle time to make it so that you're not so grumpy when you wake up. So it'll wake you up during the same sleep cycle, which is right before you're awake. So that's how it works. So going into the application, the first thing you'll notice is it has a huge page of instructions, which will tell you what it does and how it does it, and basically a more professional version of what I just said. And then, hold on, I'm, if you guys see me looking down at my phone, it's because I'm referencing off the application. So as you see here off of the start page, Again, as I said before, it'll give you all the instructions. It'll tell you where to place your phone while you're sleeping, and then it'll tell you some other stuff about it, like this cannot be run in the background, this can only be run in the foreground due to iOS limitations, which I don't really like. Next to that, we have the testing tab, which will actually let us test how to use this, and it'll basically let us know how it's working. So to do this, you want to place your phone where you're going to put it while you're getting ready to go to sleep, then press the start button and the thing will make this noise. So I have a little demonstration for you of that, so let's just go to that. Okay, so now we're gonna try the test function. So to get to that, you just click the little test tab right down there and then it'll tell you to place your phone somewhere near like where you're going to be sleeping, then press test and then this little thing will light up and emit a sound every single time that you make a movement, which is how that you can tell that the, f that the phone is actually detecting the way that you're sleeping. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. I'm gonna place the phone right here and then I'm gonna click test and then we are going to just lay around and roll around and see how this thing reacts. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we're gonna start the test. So as you could hear, it was moving and making a sound. And it vibrates and makes that sound every single time you move in your bed. And that is how it's going to measure your different sleep cycles. And so that was the testing feature. Now next to that we have the settings where you can set your different alarm clock sounds. You can select from all of the different alarm clock sounds that come pre-made with it, but I thought they were a little too soothing. I wanted something that's kind of, you know, wake me up, wake me up. So I chose a song from Skrillex because it's so annoying and it'll wake me up. Now don't get me wrong, I like Skrillex, I just think it's annoying and it'll wake me up. Next to that, we actually have the alarm tab, which will let us select what time we want to wake up. But as you can see, it has a little variation. It'll wake you up within 30 minutes of each different time period right there. And that'll let, that will allow the application to select which phase of sleep cycle you're in and wake you up in between those two different time periods. And so once you're done and you're ready to start sleeping, just press start and then it will start the alarm clock. Then just set your phone next to your bed like this, then go to sleep and then hopefully the alarm clock will wake you up. And then you can check your statistics and you can check how much time in your sleep cycles that you've been sleeping by clicking the statistics tab. And it will come up with a graph that looks like this. As you can see, it, goes, it has like a little slimmed down version of a sleep cycle graph. It'll show you how close you were to being awake and then how far into a deep sleep you were over the certain periods of time. And this is my sleep cycle graph, which I'll be showing you guys up on the screen right here. As you can see, I started out kind of really asleep and then I went into various phases of deep sleep. And then as I kept on sleeping, I almost turned into being 
being awake, and then the thing woke me up. But the thing is, the alarm clock on the phone didn't wake me up when I tried it last night. I actually woke up like I was starting to wake up a second before the alarm clock started, and then I heard the alarm clock start. And I don't know if that's just the thing with me is whenever I set an alarm clock for myself, I always seem to wake up right before the alarm starts off. I don't know if it's a thing with my natural body clock or something or maybe it's just luck but that's what happened with me and then as you can see we have two different options for sharing we can share via email and share via facebook i can understand share via email like if you have a psychiatrist or something that's trying to figure out like what's wrong with you via sleep patterns you can email this to them via email but share via, sharing by facebook i don't get it why would you want to share with people this is how i that's how good i slept last night you know who, who would want to share their sleep via Facebook. And then under that, it'll show you what time you went to bed and what time you woke up, depending on the times that you've set via this. And then it'll show you the total time that you slept and then the average total time that you slept, which for me, it was exactly the same. I don't know why that's there. But anyway, that's the application. That is Sleep Cycle Alarm Clock, which you can download from the iTunes App Store for 99 cents. I'll post the link right here, as well as in the video's description. And so that's it. That's the application. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'm so awkward whenever I do that. See you later, guys.